Uh, uh, Yannick Sina has uh, withdrawn from the Paris Olympic with uh, tonsillitis. Uh, the Italian struggled with uh, Ines during his uh, Webidon quarterfinal uh, loss to Daniel Medvedev. This is the very sad news for a young man who is uh, the world number one who should be at the Paris Olympics. Yeah, for me, a very, a very debilitating condition, a very devastating situation that uh, some of these big names is not going to be in this year's Paris Olympic game. Not just him, the likes of... Uh, Iga Schwartek, you know, the likes of Maketa Vendrosova, <laughs> Onjobwa, Yannick Sina. These are some of the big names. In fact, we have more injury concern this year's edition of the Paris Olympic game in terms of long tennis. Most of the key actors that you expect coming into this uh, year's uh, you know, Paris Olympic game as a favorite, they have all pulled out because of one injury or the other, which for me I think is quite disappointing. The highest ranked player left in the scene right now, I think it's Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic. I, I think for me it's quite worrisome because most of, even uh, Britain's Emma Raducanu as well is not going to be part of this uh, year's uh, Wimbledon. I've mentioned other names, uh, Anna Zabalenka, you know, uh, and the uh, Onjobwa, Coco Golf. I mean, these are big names that you expect to be at this year's Paris Olympic game because these uh, big names actually make the event very thick. There are many of their fans are the courtesy of the fact that you just hear the name that Emma Raducanu, Onjobwa, Maketa Vendrosova is going to be on court so, so they, most of their fans will turn out in their number because it's a lifetime opportunity. You get to, to see them. get to see them once before. So for me, I think it's quite disappointing one for... Uh, for the player out there. And of course, uh, very disappointing there, but like you said, maybe we'll keep our finger close to see how far things will unfold in coming days. But uh, hearing, I mean, it's even more painful when you get to hear that uh, at the start of the Olympic, Olympic has started and some players are now withdrawing. Mm. And you ask yourself, why didn't they withdraw earlier? But I mean, injury, like you said the other day, you never can tell when it comes. It can knock you any down. Mm. And at that time, it's kind of difficult. You just have to. You don't. It's your body, and so you cannot. You cannot. You know, disobey it. Sure. So obeying it is even more dangerous. And so, uh, but we hear that Tekogo becomes the first youngest American to be a flag bearer at the Olympic Games. And I'm wondering, man, uh, it's uh, what a what a what a historic turn for her. Very historic. Where you, where you have the likes of uh, LeBron James, mm. you know, becoming American to be. I was thinking dog is going to be LeBron James at some point, but. Uh, uh, getting to hear that uh, Coco Golf, they just want to make the history and uh, make uh, more talking points because the more you have talking points attracted to your country, mm. the better the more media, like media the more, more media hype around it. And so I think that that's what some countries are just intentionally doing. Well, for me, I think uh, Nigeria started it. Uh, exactly. Know, also, you know, laying a, a, a foot map or footprint for others to follow where they actually announce uh, Joby Lola Motion as our own flag bearer. Many people raise an eyebrow into the fact that uh, according to them there are more experienced players that are making their fourth appearance in the olympic games for nigeria players like even Harun Akhodri is making his fourth appearance so many persons question uh, the, the, the credibility or the process of also electing uh, or announcing to Lola motion as our flag bearer but then i, I stated it yesterday quite clear that but sometime leadership quality is not about uh, longevity it's not mm -hmm. about how old you are it's about you being able to have that uh, spirit of man management because when it has to do with leadership, uh, you must be able to manage people. If you can manage people, then there's no way you can be made a leader. And that is why it is not surprising. Sometimes in a football club, a young boy, a young player could just be given the captain armband mm. where they have other experienced and old players that have stayed in that club. Like so Mbappe some, in France then. Exactly. So sometimes it's about your leadership quality. And I made it very clear that Tobilola has that quali uh, leadership quality. Then again, uh, before even less than 24 hours, United States of America also made their own announcing you know, picking this uh, lady as uh, their flag bearer ahead of uh, big name players uh, or even experienced players that have won titles at the Olympic. Players like uh, LeBron James, who you everybody expected that because of his, uh, you know, prowess, because of his uh, reputation, because of his age and his achievement, would be given the nod. But then. He wasn't uh, given. So it's about leadership quality. And of course, it's not about the authority that get to name. It was a collegiate, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, 
voting or appointment by members of their athletic uh, team out there, and that is why they actually pick that. So for me, I think a uh, good one for them. Let's hope that, uh, you know, she continue to bring in that leadership quality in the team and help his country out there, you know, to achieve their previous, uh, more than their previous out there, rather. All right, uh, we're going to a short break now. When we come back, uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, more from the Olympics as well as uh, some football uh, news uh, in Europe. Don't go anywhere.